The number 20 nationally ranked Bates women's cross country team is off to a great start in 2016. On October 1st, they finished second out of 39 teams at the Louisville Cross Country Classic. 246, 247. And on October 15th, on their home course of Pineland Farms, they won the Maine State Championship Yay, for the third Martin. time in the past five <laughs> years and go. the fourth time in team history. I think it was really important because I felt like we were the favorites coming in and sometimes we're not used to feeling like the favorites coming in, so um, it's important to feel like you should do something and then do it. At the main state meet, senior captain Jessica Wilson, junior Catherine Cook, and sophomore Katie Barker finished second, third, and fourth, respectively, out of 116 runners to earn all state honors for the first time in their careers. In fact, Wilson and Cook have been the Bobcats' top two runners in every meet this year, supporting each other every step of the way. My body wasn't feeling 100%, um, and Catherine, you know, turned to me before the race, and she said, you know, let's, let's go do this. This is our course. We can do it. Let's get it done. And that's exactly what we did. And I think so not only to have that person there running next to you, makes a big difference, but mentally, um, you know, having somebody there to believe in you, I think makes all the difference. And that's what she does for me. So I'm really, really grateful to have her as a teammate and to be able to run with her. I tend to get too excited at the beginning and really want to go out front. Um, but Jess is always the one that tells me, be patient. We, we know that we can do these hills and we're gonna just hold back and then go when we're ready. And she's always right. You might think cross country is an individual sport, but you would be wrong. In fact, the more the Bobcats can run as a pack, the better. We run using pack mentality um, because we are Bobcats. And so what that is is, um, you know, it doesn't make any sense if you're racing a three-mile race to run five meters ahead of another runner on your team, you know, because in reality you're both struggling just the same. And that one to two seconds difference is not going to make a difference when it comes to place. And so what we really try to do and we try to focus on is running together. So whether that's two people running together, whether it's three, whether it's four. So if you're out here running feeling like, whoa, this might be one of our harder ones we've done this year, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's the beauty of cross country is that you're kind of all suffering together in a way, um, which sounds negative, but it's actually, it really brings people together. The Bobcats have come together so far this year to achieve their highest national ranking since 2013. The NESCAC championships are this Saturday in Waterville, and the NCAA regionals are set for Saturday, November 12th in Westfield, Massachusetts. Then after that, there's the potential of a return to Louisville on November 19th for the NCAA Division III championships. And nationals is actually one of those things that we're, we are kind of keeping behind a curtain. We just don't talk about it. It's just something that that's a goal, but it should be a goal for every cross-country team in New England, sort of wherever you are. Eventually, you're thinking, I want to be that good. So um, we always just take where we are now and, and do what we want to do one week and then move on to the next one. The Bobcats have qualified as a team for the NCAA championships three times in program history, most recently in 2012, before any of the current runners arrived on campus. For Wilson, regardless of where the team ultimately ends up this year, her time at Bates has been everything she could have hoped for and more. You know, looking back on that course today and the workout we just ran, you know, I don't think I could have done that as a freshman. I think I would have looked at that and said, no way, you know, I'm going to go sit on the couch instead. And so I think that um, the combination of having a coach that believes in you and a coach that pushes you and teammates that support you for four solid years is something that, you can't really get anywhere else. All right, ready, guys? For Bates Athletics, I'm Aaron Morse.